In 2019, College Wesleyan Church entered into a partnership with World Hope International in Sierra Leone, a country on the western coast of Africa. Sierra Leone has been one of the least developed countries in the world. The average income is currently less than $3.10 a day, and the average life expectancy is only 52 years. In this predominantly Muslim country, less than 21% of Sierra Leoneans are Christian. Although the people of Sierra Leone are financially poor, they are rich in other ways. They are resilient, having overcome an 11-year civil war in 2002. In 2016, they recovered from an Ebola outbreak that had ravaged their country for two years. They are people that work together to overcome their hardships, oftentimes making personal sacrifices for the good of their neighbors and their communities. Through World Hope International, College Wesleyan Church was able to come alongside Maken, a small rural village in the Bambali district of northern Sierra Leone. Maken has a population of approximately 700 residents, from young children to senior adults. They have lived in extreme financial poverty and resided far from many of the resources they have needed. As our congregation came alongside the village of Maken, through the assistance of World Hope, we were able to provide hygiene and sanitation training. We resourced a concrete drying floor that allows residents to process staple crops such as peanuts and grains in a sanitary way. We provided seeds and grains along with the agricultural training so that residents were able to plant new crops to sustain the entire village. During the COVID-19 outbreak, through resources given by College Church, World Hope International was able to provide the residents of Maken hand washing stations, soap, and protective masks. Additionally, they were provided proper hygiene training to cut down on the spread of the virus. At the same time, World Hope provided the village knowledge of child protection practices, children's rights, and how to avoid child neglect. There have been several significant construction projects where College Wesleyan has come alongside the residents of McKen to improve their daily lives. Our funding assisted in the completion of a deep well that replaced the water previously drawn from a nearby river. Several latrines have been built, reducing the risk of diseases caused by inadequate sanitation. And perhaps our most significant gift was the construction of a primary school in the village, giving access to education to children who had previously walked three miles to the closest school, or, in many cases, who had not attended any school at all. Our investment in Sierra Leone had another focus as well. Through our recent What's Next campaign, College Wesleyan provided $100,000 to rebuild the Wesleyan Conference Center, located near the headquarters of the Wesleyan Church of Sierra Leone in the city of McKenney. The conference center had been left in shambles following the Civil War 20 years ago. We provided funding for the reconstruction of several buildings, including the Ross Hoffman Retreat Center, a building dedicated to the legacy left by Ross through his faithful participation in the outreach ministries of CWC. The conference center will be used by the National Church to generate income to support rural pastors and missionaries the Sierra Leone Church is now sending out to surrounding countries. Finally, individuals from College Church have begun to sponsor children in the village of McKen and in Freetown, the country's capital and largest city through World Hope's Enable the Children program. While we have concluded our financial resourcing of the village of McKen, we will continue to work with World Hope International in Sierra Leone. Over the next three years, we plan to focus our attention on the Enable the Children program, a ministry that works with children with special needs. Trained professionals offer physical and occupational therapy while assisting families to enhance the lives of their children. This program seeks to change the culture in Sierra Leone, where many people abandon infants with disabilities 
believing they are demon children and a curse on their families. God is alive and at work through the Church of Sierra Leone and has been for generations. Through God's people in Sierra Leone, the gospel is being proclaimed through word and deed. As part of the body of Christ, we have been invited to partner with these believers in building His kingdom in Sierra Leone. Your generous giving has allowed College Church to be a part of God's restorative work around the world. Will you continue to support our endeavors to be the hands and feet of Christ in our community and around the globe?